In this episode, I take you up close with the box, the box from hell, the beat up, John Wick, chapter two, Mafex bootleg action figure. Welcome to another episode of This Is Fake. And welcome back to another episode of This Is Fake with The Collection Dimension. In this episode, I'm gonna be taking you up close with the Mafex. I can't stand it up. This box came just, just destroyed. Um, so I'm just sitting him like this. I can sit him like that. It's the John Wick Chapter 2 Mafex number 85 uh, action figure. I got this a little while back. Been trying to jump on my videos and all that. Just have been running into a lot of issues lately. So I'm trying to get back to it. In this episode, we're going to get up close with the fake bootleg knockoff whatever you want to call it john wick chapter 2 action figure by mafex so make sure you guys hit that little subscribe button check out the website too i got all authentics there let's get to unboxing this one see what he looks like i didn't get the real one real one is pretty expensive now from what i've seen but this was i want to say like 15 20 bucks so, like I said, off top, the box was just horrible. That's how it came. So, whatever, it cost me like 20 bucks, I want to say. On the back, taped, is the stand. Let's get up close with him. With John Wick. Seeing that's what I don't like with them. The Mafex, I don't think they tape around. From what my understanding is, they don't tape. I, I know I opened one before, but I don't want to say for sure that they don't tape. And then people be in my, be in my damn comments crying and saying, oh, they do tape. Some of you guys get so dang emotional about the fake action figures. It's funny. Got that off. So then it has another, it has the plastic plastic on it and that's what it looks like let's take them out and see what it looks like opened All right, take a look at him out the package get the light on him he feels very flimsy and you can tell off top just with the uh, elbows right there just how that looks. Very, very iffy. Like I said, it was 15, 20 bucks. I think I wanna say it was like 20 bucks shipped. So if you wanna do some modifications or something like that and make it a custom or swap out pieces or use a piece for a certain thing, being good so it's so so far everything that I'm doing the articulation wise head back down side side moves around real good so far elbow moves around good stays there not loose back elbow goes like this touches his face that's bent all the way so not bad I know the real one is like I'm gonna say like a hundred bucks right now, 150, 120 or something. So you have the chest, the abs, that's his crunch, then back, so that moves nice. Oh, I was gonna say his waist, oh. All right, so his waist moves. Did you see how, how easy his waist moved? That was like butter. All right, pop that back in. So let's pop back in. Nothing was broke. I mean, still, now I gotta get this damn peg. Peg back down. But that was very easy. That was just me uh, moving his hip. But, damn it. That's why I hate these. Give me a second. All right, back with the leg on. Took a second. Might fall off again, but hey, 
not saying it's not sus uh, expected. So, like I said, elbow moves, chest, waist moves a little bit, don't move it too much, it might fall off. Uh, legs, legs, yeah. So that's as far as his legs will go. No splits for this man, no kicks. He ain't kicking nobody. So let's go forward. As as far as forward he can go. Let's check his knee. His knee bent. Knee bent all the way back. And then his shoes. He has a toe piece. Because you can do that in these shoes. Yeah, so... Um... <laughs> It's very loose. I mean, it's loose. It's the legs are horrible. Uh, that's horrible right there. Horrible. I'm assuming the reel doesn't do that. Let's look at the other pieces, the other accessories. His arms and everything move good. I don't like. I don't like that. That's nasty. Let's look at the accessories he comes with. Still looks like John Wick though. You know. He comes with some hands. I'll go through the hands in a second. Let me go through. That's the head. I don't know what the uh, top is all about. I don't know what that's all about in the middle of his forehead. Then comes with, I like the shotgun. I like the guns, the guns are nice. That's, I, I like the detail on it. Yeah, is this one with this strap. This strap is very movable, very nice. I love the little extra, the little... Just that gold sets it off. And a little silver down at the bottom. So for a bootleg, they try to match it up. That's the figures they just seem not to care about. That's nice. So no matter what, these would go towards a good uh, diorama piece or just action figure period. And doing pictures. That's cool. Then you got the dog. There you go. That's the only stance he has. And then we have... Let me take you off the stand. And bring over the light for you guys. These are the different hands. We have the fist. Open hand. That one I thought was pretty cool. Oh, with the pencil, fists, and open two open hands for the guns and everything. So overall, the figure moves around okay. The detail in some of it, I mean, if you're a good painter, you can really do some stuff to make it a custom. But he moves around, he moves around good besides the waist. I mean, overall, still a horrible toy. Would I say that it's not worth 20? It really depends on what you're gonna do with it. I mean, if you wanna pay 120 for the real, then be my guest, but this was another episode of This Is Fake. So make sure you keep up. Look out. We're going to be coming with more episodes. Until next time, we out. Peace.